As the title says in this video, I would like to share with you some tips and tricks that works for me as a fencing coach in terms of what I'm bringing with me when I'm traveling. So the first thing that I always try my best to bring with me is my positivity, is my mood. I try as much as I can to embrace any travel, any change in my life. I know it can be uncomfortable sometimes because you don't know where you end up being. But embrace the change that will make you grow, that will make you become stronger. So that's the thing that I learned on my fencing career, on my fencing coach career now. Embrace the change and be positive. I know it's not easy. It's easy to say, but it's hard to be done. But the, the, the moment you start to look into that, it will start to be easy. So start with small steps. When you think that you are saying something negative, just think about it. Is, is that help me? Is, is that help me in a way, or it just be bring, bring me more down in my negative uh, mood? So all the time, I try my best to bring my positivity. The next three uh, important items or tips that I like to share with you will happening right now. Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome to Yuli Hobbies. I'm Yuli, and I'm welcome you here on my channel thank you so much for the support and uh, commenting liking and subscribing to my channel that you offer me you make my day every single time when I see a comment on my videos as you can see I'm ready again to pack my bag and I will have another weekend on the go another vlog for you all we have such a sunny day outside it's so much looking like spring I love this weather oh, I love this weather Okay, let's clean this mess. Everything needs to be in a bag. I shall do that now. Let me share what I'm bringing with me as a fencing coach for two days competition award. So international competition. This time I'm going to Krakow, Poland. Yes, so let me share with you everything that I'm taking as a female fencing coach. This is the thing that works for me. So when I'm packing my bag, I like to follow my order from head to toes or toes to head. So let's start head to toes this time. First thing, let's open the bag. First things first, pair of trainers. I love these ones. I have so many axes, colorful. So these are Nosa for triathlon. So I love colorful shoes. I love color colorful uh, clothing. I like to put them in a the plastic bag to just keep the dirt away from ruining other clothing what I have in my bag. And here I have a hoodie, a tracksuit bottom, and other essential like sports bra, t-shirts, everything in here, and also pajamas, socks and everything. In terms of fencing gear, I like to bring one foot protection again it's covered because it has a lot of dust on the bottom a sleeve a glove chest protection mine is with the with the top and you insert this underneath my mask I love my mask it's green Guess which color represents green? Brown base. Yes? And my fencing jacket, my fencing coach jacket. And this is the these are the basics. Everything else comes as an extra. The clothing that I'm wearing, an extra, an extra change, an extra outfit that I'm bringing with me just in case if I drop something, maybe food on my chest or something that I need to change and I, I need to have it as a spare. My luggage is ready. We see each other tomorrow morning. I'm looking forward for this competition. I'm so excited. So see you tomorrow morning. Hello my lovely viewers. I'm just about to go to the airport to fly to Krakow for the fencing competition that, that is about to be tomorrow and uh, the next day so Saturday and Sunday but before I do that I know that yesterday I show you where I'm packing when I'm traveling for the medicine competition but I forgot to mention three important pieces that I always bring it with me so first thing first has to be a sport outfit 
I need it, me personally, I need it to warm up my students. So a sport outfit is very important in my luggage to have it. The second important piece has to be a swimming suit for me. In these days, majority of the hotel have a swimming pool, so sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. The third important piece that I'm bringing with me is an outfit that is more elegant, more uh, smarter. I like to wear something that is very comfortable, something that I wear it before, not something new, something that makes me feel good when I'm wearing it. So the three important pieces are sports, uh, sports outfit, swimming suit and uh, elegant outfit. For me it's a dress, so see you in the airport. The bed is so big, it's a queen size bed, two of them in one room. Now I need to shower and to get changed and have a good sleep. We charge my battery for tomorrow competition. I'm looking forward for tomorrow competition. See you tomorrow. Good morning, I'm awake now. It's time to put some colors on this face. It's now uh, Five minutes past six. I have my morning coffee with me as usual. I love smoothies in the morning. Delicious. Okay. Rose water. If you want to see how I created this lovely makeup travel bag. I will have a video ready for you. As I said, how I create this lovely makeup travel bag. I'll have a video ready for you, so stay tuned on my channel to check the video. It will come very soon, it's not ready yet. I'll have to edit it. Now, let's go and have some breakfast and ready for competition today. 
See you later. Another day with me in Krakow. Today is Sunday and now it's uh, 25 minutes past 6. I need to be 5 minutes uh, downstairs for breakfast. But before that I want to um, just catch up with you a little bit. Yesterday I had a very good day. I learned my lesson. It was a very tough day for me as a fencing coach. But I'm stronger than before and I'm growing and I'm learning with any experience. Me as well as my student. And today I'm looking forward for another great uh, fencing competition. I have a great talented student with me today. She is amazing in, and I want her to believe in herself and I'm next to her to support her as much as I can to my best abilities. I'm 100% next to her and I do believe in her. So looking forward for today's competition. So stay close to me and you will find out later. See you later. Bye bye. Another subject that I would like to share with you is how to cope with stress, how to cope with emotion as a fencing coach. Now it's kind of similar as a fencer as well, so they go hand to hand. The first thing that I like to do as I'm doing now, I'm back in nature, I'm outside, I'm getting out of the environment where the fencing competition is happening and I'm embracing the fresh air that I'm getting back in my lungs. I do some deep breathing, I enjoy that doing some deep breathing and also take a moment to just be present in that uh, free air outside. So being on the subject, how to cope with stress in a fancy competition or any stressful um, situation in your life, it's, for me, staying hydrated. Water is very important. And I know that if my body will feel hydrated and will feel very well nourished, my mind will be the same. So stay hydrated. I would like to know how do you cope with stress? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's, let's share the tips together and learn from each other. So I decided to treat myself and I will buy for myself a nice card. It's very, very nice. And uh, some home wall for my French grip, for my coaching uh, sword. Looking forward to have them installed on my, on my EPS. As I show you, I treated myself with some nice cards and a very good um, sleeve. I have here next to me the, the company the owner. Company is your fencing. They are based in, where you are based? In Krakow. Krakow, Poland. So I will have all the details. They are on this card. I will put it down in the description bar below this video. So please check their website. They have cool stuff. You will enjoy it. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. I want to end this vlog here with the message as always and the message of this trip is be grateful with what you have while you are working harder for what you want. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe, liking and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Yuli Fencing, bye bye!